Then, in November 1950, the whole air campaign suddenly changes. U.S. pilots begin to report a strange swept-winged silver jet streaking through the skies. This new adversary has the ability to attack American aircraft almost at will, striking fast and unobserved from high altitude and escaping just as quickly. U.S. pilots don't know it yet, but they've just been introduced to the greatest challenge to Western air superiority in the history of the Cold War, the Russian MiG-15. The appearance of the MiG-15 fighter was a shock and a surprise to the Allies, to the West, and even to U.S. intelligence. The Soviets had developed a swept-wing advanced fighter that was superior to many of our own aircraft. An even bigger shock is the great skill of the MiG drivers. What we did not know then, and didn't learn until much later on, is that all the MiGs introduced into the Korean Air War in 1950 were being flown by Soviet pilots, many of whom were World War II veterans. Fortunately, the U.S. Air Force has a plane that's just becoming operational, and it has many of the same qualities as the MiG-15, the F-86 Sabre. The F-86 Sabre jet made its first flight on October 1st, 1947, about six months before the first MiG-15. The first F-86s arrive in Korea in December 1950. The Sabre's mission is simple, to stop the MiGs. The sliver of territory along the Yalu River, where most of the air-to-air -air action takes place, is known as MiG Alley. In this strip of sky, some of the greatest air battles of all time will be fought. They include the dogfight that will immortalize a U.S. Sabre pilot named James Jabara. Here was Champ, and here I was. I saw him, Champ called him out. So I was able to cut him off like this. Mm -hmm. I chased him and chased him. I wasn't catching him. And then, and then they didn't turn to the left. Jim Jabara had shot down four MiG-15s. So he was very close to the coveted title of Air Ace, which is given to a pilot who achieves five aerial victories. But to get that fifth victory, Jabara will need to squeeze every bit of performance he possibly can out of his F-86. He'll also have to defeat some very skilled Russian pilots, a flying aircraft that has just as many advanced capabilities as a Sabre, the MiG-15. 